Okay, here's a new system that I've set up. I've uh, tore this thing apart and put it back together probably three times since the uh, last time you've seen it. Um, it's been a comedy of errors. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice it has hydrogen in it now instead of rock. There's a very good reason for that. Um, let me tell you about it. I decided to try to build my own light. While hanging said light, I dropped it on top of the system and broke eight fluorescent compact or eight fluorescent light bulbs into my bed. So I got to tear it all apart, throw everything away, clean everything out, and start all over again. I uh, had the opportunity to go to the Dallas Fort Worth area for uh, an afternoon and I stopped by a hydroponic shop and I picked up the hydrogen. While I was there, I was going to get some grow lights for this light. Instead, I got this light. Uh, it's a uh, 125 watt fluorescent light and uh, the fixture only cost me 20 bucks. So the light was 40 and the uh, fixture was 20 plus tax. Uh, that was a whole lot cheaper than replacing the bulbs for that. And that was going to cost me um, right at $8 a bulb. 8 times 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, it's sixty-four dollars. Um, so um, it was a lot of fun cleaning that out. So, so now I've got about two hundred pounds of rocks in a, in a tote in the backyard that I can't use. I've uh, put some uh, plants in here. I've got um, lettuce. Here I've got a cherry tomato plant there, some more lettuce, and these two here are cabbage. I put uh, 12 of the 15 cent feeder goldfish. Um, I don't have this system completely cycled yet. Um, I've got it started. It was probably about two days into being cycled when I, um, I put the fish in. But uh, we'll see if they live. Uh, hello, Zoe. What are you doing? Hey, I'm I'm trying to film here. Go away. Um, but other than that, everything's working fine. Um, basically, I've got some some stuff to stand these boards on, and I've got it sitting over the top of the uh, 29 gallon aquarium. Everything's working fine. I've uh, built an Athen siphon. Um, it uh, works really, really well. Um, it has not missed a missed one time. I've, it's the first time I built a bell siphon that I I didn't have to fool with just a little bit just to get it to work. But uh, we'll see how this one goes. This is my second mini indoor aquaponics system, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the progress. If you like this kind of thing, please subscribe. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, if I can answer them, I will. Thank you. Bye-bye.